is a poorly kept secret that when we watch Tony Robbins doing coaching interventions, he's doing NLP interventions, even though he doesn't call it NLP anymore for marketing and legal reasons, he's doing NLP. And in this video, we're going to look at one of his interventions where he does a rare NLP pattern called the kinesthetic swish. So we're going to focus on five things during this intervention. Uh, if you're a beginner to, or you're new to NLP, you can just get an overview of how the intervention works. If you're more advanced, you can start to uh, really pay attention and key into some of the finer distinctions that make even a simple intervention like this one quite masterful. The first thing we want to pay attention to is how Tony sets up the intervention. Tony is using the setup to format the unconscious mind and precede the changes that are about to happen. And I do mean precede. He's planting seeds for the changes that are about to happen. It is a release of energy. So, you know, sometimes when people tell me I can't figure out what I want in a relationship or I want in a business, I'll say to them, do me this favor. Tell me the job from hell. Tell me who you'd not want to work with, what you'd not want to do, what kind of people you'd want to be in, or tell me the relationship from hell, the people you don't. And they, they get a lot of energy out being pissed off. And then when that energy's higher, even though it's pissed off energy, I'll go right the opposite and you have your job from heaven. You have your relationship from heaven. The, the setup formats the unconscious mind for the change that's about to happen. Now, Tony also matches the client's problem state, she's talking about a relationship with her mother, by using an isomorphic metaphor. Isomorphic is a one-to-one -one metaphor. So tell, she has a relationship issue. He goes to a parallel context of job. And he goes, tell me about your job from hell. Tell me about your job from heaven. Okay, And what he's doing there is he's setting up a metaphorical swish pattern. Right. So he's saying we're going to get all the energy out of your job from hell and we're going to bring in the energy from heaven. Right. And notice the predicates here. These are kinesthetic predicates, the energy. He's not talking about pictures. He's not talking about sounds. So now let's get into the first step of the intervention. So one way to get that out, and I know it sounds bizarre, is to take that feeling inside your body, whatever it is, like, tell me where the feeling is of the anger and the passive aggressiveness. If you were to like, touch the part of your body where it resides most, where is it? Right here. And what color is it? Black. Black. And how big is it, the size? It's large. It's large. So it's black, large, and it's on your chest, on your heart? Yeah. On my chest. What's the tech? What's the texture like if you were to touch it? I would say like rubbery, suffocate. It's like suffocating. Yeah. Like suffocating. So it's big, black, rubbery, suffocating. If it made a sound, what's the sound it makes? Don't even think, because you know sound comes from your unconscious. So what, it may seem weird, but what's the sound it makes? It makes a sound. <laughs> like a squeaky. <laughs> try, try to make the sound, even if it's not exactly the same. Try to make the sound just for a second. Ah, I don't. Yeah, do that again, ah. but do it as loud as it is inside you, because I know it's louder than that. <laughs> ah. And I'll do it with you if you have something right. that you're wanting All to All of release. you at home, if there's something you need to let go of, I want you to figure out where that feeling is location wise. And then I want you to notice what color is it? Location, color, what's its shape? What's its texture? And then make it sound. And let's do that again. Let's do it out loud, Tammy. Everyone's going to do it anyway. Ah. So it's make the sound like what it really feels like. Go ahead. Ah. Yes. But do it even louder like it really feels inside. Like don't hold back because that's what you're doing. Hold back. Don't hold back. Mm. Shout it out just for a second. Ah. Hey. There you go. Do it. Oh, that's it. Do it again. Put some music on. Do it for it. Come on. Ah. Use your body. That's it. And then... Right, so with most NLP coaching patterns, what makes them so effective is that you're getting the neural pathways of the present state and of the desired state, how they want to be different, and you're firing them off at the same time so that neuroplasticity happens and that you fire and wire neural pathways together. So in this, this part of the, um, the session, he's following the HNLP coaching pattern precisely. He's getting her in the problem state.
So when he asks her, where's the location of the feeling, he's driving her into the problem state. Now, the next thing you're going to notice here is that he's doing a lot of overlapping. So he gets the qualities of the feeling. Yeah, it's location, it's texture, it's this, it's that. And then he also wants to turn it into other uh, representational system. So he'll say, what's the, what's the color of that feeling, right? When you say, what's the color of that, the feeling is, is a felt sense. Color is a visual uh, predicate. So when he says, what's the color, it forces her to give it a visual representation. You can then manipulate the visual representation in order to change the feeling. Cool. Let's see what he does next. What does it say? If it said something to you, what does it say? You're wrong. You're wrong. How does it say? What's the tone of voice? It's mean. You're okay. wrong. And who are you saying it? And who are you saying it to? Myself. Yes. So that's where the problem is, right? It's not really your mom as much as it is you because you you're expecting yourself to not have these feelings. But so let's take those feelings for a second, just for a second, and let's play with them for it a second. You I can want do you better. if you would. What's that? You, you it says what? you can do better. Well, that's true. You don't right? have but, to. But we can do it way. nicely with you as well, right? So what Tony does there, which is really powerful, is that he puts the client back at cause. So if we're at the cause of our problems, we can change them. If we're at the effect of our problems, we're the victim of our problems. So in that last section, Tony goes, well, so that's where the problem is really. It's not that your mom is the problem. Mom is an external cause. Okay. If the cause is outside me, I don't have choice. The problem is, and then he frames it as something that she can be at cause of. We want to be at cause because then we can change. The second thing he does there is he reframes the positive intention. So this is where conversational change happens when you understand the principles and you can be, you can dance with them. So the voice says you can do better. And Tony goes, oh, that's true. And it can be nicer to you too. So immediately just agrees with the positive intention, reframes it. Now is going directly into the next part of the intervention. So now here's what I want you to do just for a second. Shake your body up, shake it up, shake it up. That's it. All right, so now that he's got the problem state, we got to get her out, shake it off, get out of the problem state, right? And now he's going to go right into associating her to a resource state. And I want you to think of a time when you felt really, really happy or grateful or excited. A time when you felt strong and excited to attack a challenge. Could have been 20 years ago, could have been five months ago, could have been any time in your life. A challenge you just took on and you were like ready for the challenge. You felt strong. You're like, I'm going to make this happen. Can you think of a moment? Mm -hmm. Good. What was yeah. that situation you're remembering? I started my own, long line, own online business. I was sure okay, I could make it. Good. Now tell me when you're in that state, right before all the fears and limits and you got yourself in that place and you're committed, right? Tell me, where does that feeling reside in your body when you feel that feeling of strength and commitment? Like I'm going to find a way. I want to make in this my work. shoulders. Okay. And, and in your shoulders and what's the color? Is it across both shoulders or just one or both? Both. Both. Is it in the it's shoulder itself room. or on top of it or in it? It's on top, but it's under the black as well. It's okay. Hidden. Oh, it's black as well. And it has a different direction, though, I bet. What's the direction of that energy when you're committed and you know you're going to find the way? Is it moving up, upward, down, upward? What is it forward? Up, forward, upward. Good. And that's right. And when you have that feeling of that sadness, that anger, what direction is that going? It's pressing in. That's right. It's pressing in. The other one's taking you forward. Okay. So the one takes you forward. Go to the one that takes you forward. When you're committed, you know you're going to make it happen. And it's black also, but the shape is different, isn't it? What's the shape like? When you're committed, it's you're like going to make it thing. happen. You it's, know. Yeah. It's like a, um, it's a lighter, it's light. Okay. That's um, the big difference. It's light. That's nice. So yeah. it's not heavy. All right. And what's the yeah. texture like of that great feeling? Like, I'm going to make it happen. What's the texture? It's like a soft cloth. Oh, that's nice. Okay. 
So it's moving forward like a soft cloth, this light texture. And what's the sound this makes when it knows you're going to find the way? Even if you know the way, you're going to find the way. Yes. 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 Good, good, good. Do that again nice and loud. Go for it. What does yes. it say? Go strong. Go. That's right. Yes. One more. Really, really feel it and shout it. Go for it. Yes. 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 Good. And then as you feel that in your body, tell me, how does that feel zero to 10 in terms of good? Zero feels terrible. 10 feels great. Where would you put that? 10. 10. Okay, great. So here's what I want you to do just for a second. So oh, he's getting the resource state. Have you ever felt? And then he gives her some options. And then as he goes to get the resource state now, remember, this is a kinesthetic swish. So even though he is doing the overlapping, he is doing what's the color of the uh, positive state. What does the positive state say to you, right? Notice that he's really looking to elicit the submodalities of the kinesthetic. He wants the quality of the feeling. Now, cool. Now we're ready to run the, the pattern. Now that he's elicited the state, he's overlapped it, he's quality control checked it. Is it out of 10 out of 10, right? When we're going to do a collapse or, or conditioning any change in NLP, we want to make sure the desired state is strong enough that it can uh, effectively collapse the problem state. All right. Now he's going to run the swish. Let's watch. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to imagine reaching down into that area that was all around your heart. But before you do, grab this light substance that's in your shoulders that is pure light, truthfully. It's physically light. It moves you forward. It has a yes in it. And I want you to take it and use it to pull out. Just put it in your hand, like maybe your right hand or left hand or both, and go in there and put it and pull out the black that's around the heart, that big blob, and let it just shrink it. Like the minute you put this substance around it, it should shrink that. Literally put it around the substance of your heart, let it shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink it so it comes to a dot. And then make it feel light by using all the energy that's in your shoulders. And then push it forward into the sun until you see that little dot evaporate. And what comes down instead is pure light into your body, like sunlight hitting a flower. And as it hits your heart, see your heart and the lightness of your heart brighten. Feel the whole energy brighten within you. And hear the word yes, 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 like a vibration inside you in your heart, almost like the same tempo of your heart. Yes, yes, there is a way, I'll find the way. Yes, moving forward, yes, trusting, yes, feeling that lightness, yes. And when there is the same feeling in your shoulders inside the chest and heart, let me know when it's there. Keep pouring it in. If you've got to keep with your hands, pour it in until the old one's gone and it's now replaced what was in your shoulders is now in the middle of your chest and your heart. Keep yep. pouring it. Yes, yes, yes. You got it? Mm -hmm. Good. Now, when you think of that situation, zero to 10, how does that feel around your chest and heart? Zero to 10. Eight. Eight. Great. What would make it a nine? What would you need to focus on to make it a nine? What feeling or texture or energy or thought would you need to bring to it to make it a nine? I can what do better. What new belief? It's What's gentle. That? It's more gentle. It, I can do better. It is gentle. That's right. It's more. It's, the, it's the truth. Yeah, it's, it's gentle and it's the truth. Now it's a nine. What will take it to a 10? What? What truth, what understanding, what appreciation, what emotion, what words, take it from nine to 10. That anger's not who I am. Nice. Yes, beautiful. And who are you? Ask that heart, who are you really? Your heart knows. Who am I really at the level of I'm my a, soul? I'm a child of God. Amen. Yes, Love amen. it. So now we have to condition the change. And in the kinesthetic swish, that looks like, okay, great. Grab a hold of that negative feeling. Grab a hold of that positive feeling. Pull that positive feeling in and surround that negative feeling and push that negative feeling out. Now you'll notice he uses the, the visual overlapping to change the feeling as well. He'll say things like shrink, 
the feeling down to the size of a dot. Watch it go off into the distance, right? And then have it come back. And the other thing that I'm keying in on is he's using the word light a lot. Well, light is both a visual predicate and a kinesthetic one. So a feeling can feel light and you can have uh, brightness as a quality, right? So he talks about the light coming in. Well, from the elicitation earlier, light is already anchored to this positive feeling for her. So bringing that light in, yeah? And then he's going to continue to overlap with the word yes, because yes is also a positive anchor for her. If you want to take your coaching skills to the next level. If so, click the link below, join the wait list for the next NLP slash HNLP training so that you can learn how to become a much more effective coach. The last time I did this, seats were filled within the first day of announcing it. So by getting on the list, you're going to have first access to know when the training is. <laughs>